By the way, this video has so much value in it. I am so excited. According to me, every business owner should be having all of these social media and blog posts on their websites or their social media platforms. And I am super excited to just dive right into this video because it is packed with value and you are gonna love it. Hi guys, my name is RP and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I've helped more than 1000 business owners, bloggers, influencers just grow their brands and successfully help them launch their products and services with the right tools and strategies out there. So my friend Kendra sent me this huge document last week. It was 50 pages long and just asked me to read it and see if that was helpful for my business. After reading that document, my mind blew and I had to make a video out of it. So thank you Kendra for sharing the document. I know you're watching this video, so a big thank you to you. So this huge document is like the Bible for all the blog posts and social media post ideas that every business owner or blogger should be using. Since this huge document has so many blog posts and social media post ideas, I have just categorized this into five main parts. This is gonna be a video series of five videos and in each video I'm going to talk about a specific idea for your blog post and your social media posts and they are behind the scenes posts, inspirational posts, informative posts, authoritative posts and collaborative posts and this video is all about behind the scenes post ideas. So what is behind the scenes posts? This is particularly for creative business owners. Your customers or clients just want to buy or just do business with you because they are really interested in your story. They want to know how you've come up with ideas, how you've created your products or crafted your services, who helps you with your business and just why do you do what you do. In most cases, your customers just want to feel that you are a real person that they can relate to. And the next question is, how does this help you with your business? A customer who gets to absorb in your story is more likely to make a purchase and understand your pricing and also just appreciate the service that you offer. The first post idea is to just talk all about your business. So I just have all of these points written down over here on my laptop. And if I'm looking this way, it is the points that I'm looking at. Talk about the story of how you started talk about what your business name means to you, talk about why you are interested in this particular field that you are in, what drew you away from what you were doing before to for you to come into this business. Also talk about how your life has changed after you've started your business and your blog. Also talk about the things that you find rewarding in your business and how you relate to your customers or your clients and also talk about your future dreams and your plans and your goals. Also share the stories of people that you've met along your business journey. Also share about the little bumps that you had on your road to your business and how you overcame them. The next post idea is a day in the life of a business owner and just show them what you do in a day. The first thing is to just give a sneak peek of your daily schedule. The second thing is to just give a little information about your family or your home. The next post idea is just introduce your team or your team members. The next is just do a tour of the printer that you use for your card making or any equipment that you use for your business. Also, you can show how a particular piece of instrument works. Share pictures or videos of your home office and your studio. If you are a handmade business, just show the sheep that your wool comes from. Also, you can share something that you love to do when you are not working on your business. Also, share a story of the heartwarming customer interaction that you had. Show the care that goes into packaging a product. And also, you can show like a pile of orders 
that are packaged and that are ready to go out and uh, you can actually show them the shipping process that goes into sending all these products if you are liking this video so far just make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe it is actually free and it won't cost you anything and also just make sure that you thank kendra in the comments below and the next post idea is a look into how you make your products show where you get your design inspiration from and how you plan the prototype of a particular product and you can show the work that you do with your own hands you can also show a video of the handwork that goes into making a product and you can also do a portfolio style post that uh, you design for your clients show how you pulled a collection together you can also show how your customers feedback or interest influence your work you can also talk about the small changes that you make that make your products or services so special and you can also talk about a product idea that never worked out and why it didn't work out you can also show how a product has been refined over time you can also explain how you source out your products or your materials and how you ensure quality you can actually show how you test your products readiness for the market you can show the the process of how you choose the colors the flavors the scent for your products and the last way is just explain how you customize your products or services in order to cater a particular client base the next post idea is to just have a peek at the back end of your business how you did the behind the scenes photo shoot for your product how you design your packaging you can do a meet the makers if you are into handmade products how you manage your work life balance physical tools or machinery that you use for your business the digital tools that help you manage your business you can also share the story that went into uh, naming a particular collection that you own in your business you can actually describe an experience of how it is to collaborate with another designer and how you guys worked it out together the next post idea is just a story about growth and how you've handled it you can also talk about press and other opportunities that help you scale your business in the next video i will be talking about all the inspirational type of posts that you can post on your social media or your blog post so make sure that you hit the bell notification in case you want to be notified and if you liked any of these tips and you're using them for your brand and your business just make sure that you tag me in your stories so that i can repost them on my social media accounts thank you so much for watching this video till the end thank you so much for your love and your support and i will see you in the next video bye